Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the XTC on GSP. Today, we have Team Australia versus Team Spain here in X-Wing Team Championship action. I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. How's it going, Dio? I'm feeling good. This is the first matchup. Between both these teams, there are seven total games played in each round. This is the first one, Team Australia versus Team Spain. Uh, I think you were saying that this is actually Team Spain's first uh, first game in the XCC because they had a, a bye last week or something like that. Uh, yeah, we're in Group D, uh, which only has seven teams. Uh, so each week, one of the teams will have uh, no opponent to face, and that was Spain last week. So they're itching to get in there, make a name for themselves, and get some wins against Australia. Beautiful. I'm about to open up the Choose Your Champion betting. If you're watching later on on YouTube, put it in the comments down below. Who do you think is going to win this game? We'll go ahead and break down those lists. It's time to choose your champion. All right, on our left here, that's your bet one all champion. That's Octacon, uh, representing Australia. He's got seven M3A interceptors, all cartel spacers, uh, three of them with the tractor beam cannon and four with the auto blaster cannon. Uh, this is, uh, Octacon's been flying these M3As uh, since their points reduction and has uh, formed his scum list into a variant that has seven while still utilizing um, those tractor beams uh, that he likes so much. Um, on, on the other side, we have Marcelo Soto with uh, flying for Team Spain. And this is a Galactic Republic list. That's two 104th Battalion. Uh, I-2 generic arcs uh, with Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Aether Sprite with CLT. He can pass off, um, or excuse me, when a, another friendly ship spends a focus token, he can spend a force to have it gain another focus token. So they spend his force instead of their own focus token. And then, the man himself. Anakin Skywalker uh, rocking the Ada 2 Actus uh, with the Brit build. That's Marksmanship, Auto Blaster, and R7A7. Uh, we'll see a lot of Auto Blasters in this matchup. Uh, so, just as a reminder, that uh, during the neutralized results step, if you are not in the attacker's front arc, evade results do not cancel crit results and that's really the power of anakin here being able to get behind the opponent and uh whether it's in bullseye shooting three or four dice or uh just utilizing that r7 a7 i uh, can get gen uh can generate crits and have them push right through any defense dice mm -hmm. and now we've seen a lot of uh these arcs um, and then normally it was triple arcs and Obi-Wan, or triple arcs and an ace, or a Jedi, uh, what have you. Um, but this version sneaks in that Ada as a replacement, so you really get a nice balance of two aces and two tanky chousters. Um, on the other side, though, Okta uh, split his forces into a uh, three and four group here. And we have quite the asteroid field in the center of the board. Um, it's going to hinder the tractor beams here um, maneuvering, um, but give them plenty of opportunities to throw these Jedi onto those big old rocks. So who do you think, I, who do you think after going, going through those lists is going to be the champion after this one? Uh, I mean, I feel like I have to on, on pure list alone uh um, Marcelo I think has the more well-rounded list mm -hmm. agreed has more options has more health or not more health but has varying degrees of uh like agility and um health pools and with the arcs versus the Jedi but on the other hand I know Octicons very good with these M3As very patient player mm -hmm. uh, and 
uh, will wait to spring the trap against these small base uh, ships. What? I do find it strange, though, that he has all the autos together and then all the tractor beams together. You'd think he would have some sort of mixed forces flying around. Oh, well, never mind. I actually, I marked them incorrectly. They are mixed. I marked them wrong. You marked them wrong. Yep. Wow, you certainly did. Dion, now I've <laughs> said words and made myself look like a fool. That's all right. I thought he named him. Nope. I had faith in him. But you were very much uh protector. Because we have red, yellow, and green on the tractors. And so it does have one in the three pair and two in the quartet. That's four, right? Yeah. Yep. Quartet. Uh, yellow and green. Okay. All right. That's been corrected. Can you double check that All for right. me to make sure I didn't screw it up again? Nope. Uh, that is yellow, green, and red. You have red on the overlay and right on uh, when, we sc <laughs> when we scroll over uh, their little names. Uh, they're the little bases they tell us as well. Adorable. Um, so yeah, it is rocking mixed arms. It makes a lot more sense. Tractor beams in the back trying to move these ships into uh, either range one or in uh, auto blaster bullseye. Either one would uh, work uh, well. All right, cool. I was I'm just surprised. like quadruple, quadruple checking, making sure I didn't mess it up. No, you're, All right, you're, cool. No, you're good. You're so good. He, here is one of the things looking at this matchup. Because Marcelo has the uh, the Anakin shenanigans there with the auto damage potential, I really think as long as mm -hmm. Anakin is alive, Marcelo has a chance to really pull this uh, this game out. I think one of the things that could potentially happen is if Octacon can take out Anakin or if Marcelo gets a little bit too aggressive with him and he ends up inside of uh, inside of a bunch of tractor beams and ends up because it only has three health, right? It doesn't need much for it to end up taking that ship out. Those two die primaries can do a lot of damage if that ate the sprite, excuse me, not ate the sprite, Ada ends up being mm -hmm. Tractor Beam. So I think Anakin is really the key to the game for Marcelo, and I want to see where he's going to end up putting him. Uh, right now, it kind of feels a little bit like bait. Yeah, I was going to comment uh, before they moved, they looked uh, in position to try to get around, um, but uh, Marcelo has used that as a bait tactic to draw the M3As in past the rocks and into the more open field to where he'd rather fight with his arcs. That's right. Now, looking at the audience's opinion on Choose Your Champion, we have Akta Khan set at a 64% favorite to Marcelo's 37% um, voting as well. So right now, people heavily trusting in the M3As, the experience of Octacon with those M3As, Auto Blaster, Tractor Beam combinations. Before, if you guys followed him playing, he was playing a lot of, was it, was it five? Five M3As and two Fangs, or was it four M3As? No, it was uh, four and two. Four and he two, had yeah. Ion, Tractor, Fang, Ion, Tractor, Fang, in two little groups. So what do you what do you uh, think about yeah. that choice of not bringing any ions and opting for Tractor and Auto Blaster? Um, Auto Blaster just hits harder. Like it's just a like in. I assume that he got into uh, like swarm on swarm matchups, especially with the new um, resurgence we've seen in like Barons and. Things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Other three agility generic swarms. They just didn't have the power, uh, the punch, uh, to keep up with the damage race well, with those ions. While the control is nice, uh, you could just be killing that ship and you won't have to worry about it. That's very, that's very, very true. I think additionally, the tra like 
I kind of look at the right, tractor beam and ion. They're both control pieces. And mm -hmm. tractor beam has this interesting thing where it's like, hey, you do not want to let even a single hit through versus ion where sometimes you're like, you know what? I'll take the damage. At least I'm not ioned, right? Like there's that thought exactly. of it's okay to let one through here and there. I'll hold my token to be able to have better offense. When you're playing against tractor beams and you have a small base ship, you can't let any of those go through because even though they don't do damage now, they're guaranteed to tractor on a single hit for the small base ships and a reminder to any of our new players you require two tractor beam tokens on a medium base ship so we'll see if it ends up happening here in order to tractor it and enable that barrel roll or boost um, with the person who has tractored the ship Now, as we continue here, I want to remind you that our coverage of the XTC on GSP today is brought to you by Kuat Print Yards. Use coupon code GSP for 15% off your order. You can do that today, tomorrow, uh, and yesterday if you figure out how to get in the time machine. But that is good all year. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. So we see a barrel roll to the left and back from Anakin. Do you think maybe he's going to be booking it here? Uh, I think Anakin's biding his time here. He's waiting. He's waiting to pounce, uh, keeping a close distance. Uh, I expect a hard one back in, with the spacers not being able to have good lanes here. Mm -hmm. um, they found one hor uh, vertical lane. If you're looking at it from the stream. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, they found a good vertical lane, uh, but those big rocks are a, a huge hindrance to them. And uh, Anakin knows that, so he's going to try to sneak around him while they're heading towards the lane, he towards the arcs. Yeah, it does seem like Octa's on a, on a vector to joust those arcs, and in this opening engagement, looks like the arc 170s likely will have shots on the brown and green M3As. One is a tractor, one is an auto blaster, and there's Obi-Wan mm -hmm. turning in as well. Probably has green and brown also at range three. We'll see where he prioritizes his action. Oh, we're going aggressive, huh? Target lock. Yeah, I did not want to necessarily barrel roll in to the arcs. Plus, with his high agility and force, he could actually uh, take a shot that would damage a arc next to him. Okay. Yep, and we see here uh, Anakin is opening. Already had barrel rolled, so only had boost available. Mm -hmm. And that's that's an easy flank for him now. Oh, just barely does not have the red M3A in arc. We'll see what happens when Obi Wan comes up here. I'm guessing it's going to be range three, and it's a range two shot. Has target lock and three force available. We'll see how aggressive he's willing to be. Now, because again, this is not a GSP game. Uh, if they roll out the box, it, it, for me, it's basically they, they do what what they need to do. A <laughs> reminder, this is not a GSP event. We can't interfere in the game whatsoever. You know, they could roll 17 dice on their attack. We can't do anything, okay? Just I want to be clear for our Good. audience. There is nothing we can do per XTC right. rules. And to Obi-Wan choosing the wrong modifier here decides to save his force and his lock for another attack. So the M3A is getting away. Now, you see the M3As had to spread out here to cover the, the Ace's flank, but it's hurting them in the Joust versus the Arcs. Trail mix. We roll it and... For two. Oh, I see the, the to defensive token used here. Passing on a shot coming in on him. Decisions, decisions. But that auto blaster is going to be range three, so only shooting two dice back on the arc. Yep, even if it is in bullseye. So just rely on your three or four agility. One hit? No, that is a focus. That's yeah, that's an eyeball. And I could spend it with Obi Wan, but for just one die result, you're not going to hit that M3 at range three. Mm -mm. Might as well just save it for defense. Well, sure right. does. All right, Brown M3A getting away easy uh, off of that 
a jousting down half the Republic squad here. Ooh, yellow tractor beam. And, this and... could get spicy. <laughs> oh, let's see. Anakin does have some force available. Oh, it's shooting primary. Just two. First range. I'm also surprised we didn't go for the tractor beam. That's what I mean, yeah. I'm surprised he ro rolled only two dice there. Maybe the tractor beam, maybe he thought the bear roll wouldn't get him back into arc meaningfully. That's or true. maybe he doesn't want to rotate. Hard, hard to say. Hard ah, to say. yes, yes, yes. But then you're, you have a stressed Ada, which is a good thing. So, interesting call there. Anakin barely gets out of it. Um, luckily, he had some force available. <laughs> Excuse me. Hit crit. Huh. Yep, and today's going after the red 104th. And looks like we're going to end up getting two through there. We'll go ahead and get this overlay going two shields down on the red arc 170 and looks like we'll have another unobstructed shot here good technique going into the ship that you already damaged has potential to get a little more hit crit mm-hmm mm-hmm to agility here no focus on defense available and the crit hits the last shield i'm sure marcelo there glad to have roland at least one of a to not take a crit on the hole so early in the game oh uh, yeah two little m3a's stared down two arcs and a jedi and came out uh on top easily uh, three damage to nothing over there. Mm -hmm. And they're going to need to make it work uh, good here because uh, Anakin is getting or priming that auto blaster cannon as he comes around the big rock. We're going to see uh, pass maneuvers from the M3As to converge on the 104s. I don't um, know. Or are I they going to try to spook off Anakin here? Can they even spook him off? I don't know if – I'm thinking if I'm Marcelo, maybe I don't try – like, I'm not – like, don't actively try to block the ARC 170s because you want shots, especially right. against that one agility. You might be able to burn down that red arc this upcoming turn if you hit the gas with green, pink, blue, and a three bank with yellow. Bring them all down. Anakin might get behind you for one turn, but you should be able to – uh, you know, move pretty quickly, and uh, and because I think if you try to pursue Anakin this turn, you mm -hmm. likely end up with you end up with three ships on your flank as opposed to one. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And if the if yellow or excuse me, if the if the bottom three there, uh, white, brown, and green, if they move into that lane, they'll have K turns open to come back and help out uh, in the following rounds. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who are craving more XTC action, we will actually be live also this Saturday with a couple of XTC games. Uh, we normally stream every Wednesday and, f and uh, Saturday scrimmage games. You can see our schedule right there. Wednesdays and Saturdays. So we'll be starting 9 a.m., uh, but we'll have Team Poland versus Malaysia at 9 a.m. Central, a.k.a. 1400 UTC. Then going to uh, 1 p.m. Central, 1800 UTC, we will have Malta versus Chile. We'll be doing a little collaboration with the Sith Squad stream during that game. Should be fun. We're going to try to find one more to fill out our three-game schedule that we have on most Saturdays. But if not, we'll get a scrimmage game in the, in the middle there. But it should be fun. When does Carson Ray play again? He plays on Saturday. No, it was actually, no, he played today, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was going to say, he, he played earlier today. He played today. He played I, like an hour before the start of this game. So I couldn't stream it. Right. 
Yeah. Um, I started watching that game. I uh, was on uh, Ken's stream. I don't know the result of it. Cursing from 087 to 100 and 0 right now. What? That's not how math works. Or it's not, that's not how scoring works in X Wing. <laughs> We'll see if I can get an update for it. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's uh, one thing we were mentioning beforehand. Spain uh, not uh, uh, playing any games last week. They had the bye week. Mm -hmm. um, and Australia had lost to, I believe it was Hungary. Yes. Yes, they lost to Hungary. And it was a, mm -hmm. a, th a three to four, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a close game. It came down uh, to the wire. Um, but that's a big upset. Um, uh, this Australian uh, it was, team it was Chile. Was it was Chile. Chile. Sorry, we got we got to make sure to give Chile the props. Yes, Ch no, Chile. Chile did work. Did work uh, yeah. so far. So um, that is and that that they're the underdogs compared to Australia, who was favored in group d as one of the heavy hitters and spain's like hey we're a heavy hitter too came in got their wins uh so australia's on the back foot here uh, trying to get some w's for their own team all right we got two straights here and we'll see what the rest of octa's moves are uh libo 24 asking is there any plans to stream any of the philippines games so the way xtc streams are working uh it's a it's a dibs system just because the, the, it's really hard to do like perfect schedules with every streamer so essentially there's this giant spreadsheet that the different streams have and when different teams are available they put it in and if it works with your schedule you say hey players you're gonna be over here and that that's that's it <laughs> so i have no control over what teams are available when uh, I have put out call off saying, hey, yo, let me know when things are happening. But, uh, you know, whatever games we get, we get. We're, we're happy <laughs> and excited to, uh, to have games and see how things end up going. All right. Now, these ARC 170s do end up getting blocked. No actions for them. That yellow ARC 170 is in trouble. Oh, Obi-Wan does end up making it there with the three left bank. Now you do have four arcs on you, but this does give Obi-Wan some actions. Yeah, it has that CLT lined up on white, one of the auto blaster ones. Uh, and a scoring update, uh, Carson finishes off uh, his game against the Separatist, uh, trading Rose Tico for Zam Wessel. Oh, that's a good trade. <laughs> <laughs> Take that trade all day. <laughs> that's, that's a very good trade. <laughs> uh, that's 127.87. So big congrats to our boy Carson Ray, the monster of the resistance here. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a thing, in celebration. Here, I gotta. I, just, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. One second. Boom, boom, ba dum, dum, da dum. Oh, where did it go? Oh, oh. Yeah, Lambolo. I I wish that there was a more public um place for times and streams, but hopefully someone can get that worked out. You know where we're streaming. <laughs> when anybody else is doing, who knows? So that was a boost from Obi Wan. Really, he boosted to have no shot. That's very strange to me. But I think he did boost out of auto blasters and the tractor beams he was looking for. Yep. Go back to the the rivers and the streams. Yeah. Obi-Wan. 
You don't want to mess with them waterfalls. Uh, by the way, anybody who wants to see the new U.S. Team USA logo, there it is on your screen. Bam! You. Yes. Hey. Go, Carson. Was that a purple evade? Yes, I he threw down the purple one? evade. Yes, he did. It wouldn't be two force down then? No, he's like, no, 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 no. This ain't an Ada. <laughs> he says, uh, whoops, been flying too many Adas. <laughs> So that one, I'll spend that force. Here we go, Anakin. I uh, so Octagon did send off the red tractor beam to mess with uh, this Anakin to make sure that he couldn't boost in here. I like that positioning. So Anakin can't boost and just get behind all of the M3As. Mm -hmm. So either has to boost out and trade no shots, or uh, go one on one versus. Cartel spacer it is. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna man, face I'm it excited. down. Take the squiggle. I'm excited to see that spacer outgun uh, Anakin Skywalker there. <laughs> and Anakin does not have the bullseye there. I want him to no. note that no so bullseye. They're, they're shooting pretty much the same shot back at each other. Trail mix for the first shot here. Anakin at yeah. range one. Three defense dice for this red cartel spacer. Lambolo, thank you so much for the subs. Lambolo. Uh, spent a force for two. And easily evaded. Oh, M3 Ace. Yeah, because what's really the difference between those two ships? Anakin has a evade token and the spacer has a shield. Yep. That's it. <laughs> For like a third the price. That's a bit, out, a bit outrageous. Or <laughs> half the price, rather. The false. All righty. Here I we mean, go. It does matter. Arc 170 trying to decide where the shots are going to go. They have both range one shots on the green M3A interceptor. We'll see if that's where they want to go. Yeah, I think without any mods, that might be the way to go. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that is the choice. Mm -hmm. Taking the focus fire as a route. Here is our first arc. Taking a shot. Four dice. Averages two. Let's see what we get. Got it. three. Mm -hmm. All right, hit it, crit. That's a way to get it started. Probably able to focus. Uh, no. Strip the focus here. One's just an eye. Uh, so it's hit. Or ah, crit almost. hit eye. So um, never, two never mind there. Smooth out the dice box. Um. Next shot here. Scooping up another set of four. Do it again. Another hit crit again. Average. One focus. Two focus. Probably going to end up stripping the focus here. He's going to prioritize the health of his ships, I'm assuming. Is he yeah. strength in numbers? Yes. Yeah, he's going to need that uh, that health late game uh, when Anakin's just ripping through it. Plus, you don't want to take a crit, give up points. You do not. So... Um, very interested to see where he starts with here. I guess uh, this auto blaster with only the single shot here makes sense. See what kind of damage you can do. Mm -hmm. Four dice from the little M3A. Yeah, this decision here, because it has only one shot, will determine whether or not he goes into uh, red or yellow. Yeah, we could see that tractor beam onto the rock. Boom. We're going to go ahead and this is... roll them. Oh, Ooh. spin for four. So guaranteed to hit there. I think we're going to see all shots converge on that yellow ARC-170. We ripped the wow. shields off there. Wow, these M3As uh, with auto blasters uh, out gunning and uh, out tanking these 104th Battalions. Now, that green tractor is closest, but I think Octa's looking at his options where he has modifiers right now. Mm 
Right now, that's an auto. That's one of the auto blaster ones taking a shot. So I'm surprised we didn't get the tractor beam, but I think he's saving the range one shot. Might be the yeah. strategy there. He's trying to get as much information about this as possible. And currently, green or is currently yellow um, is more prone to being hurt here. Nope, he's just going to go after red. I think that makes more sense. He's got more dice on red. Hit crit. And hit crit. Get it going. Arc 170 likely to take damage here. Takes them both. That's under the shields. Yep, and half points. And what do we get there? We got a disabled power regulator for the Republic. Going to be taking ion tokens, potentially, of course. Got to live past this, though. <laughs> Got to live through <laughs> it. So there's a uh, auto. is just going primary range three into red. Everything on red. Try to burn it down. It's got four left. Still hasn't shot that uh, three dice auto blaster um, from white uh, or the range one from uh, cartel three there. The tractor beam green one. Another two die shot from downtown. Just a crit. You got to roll some squiggles here if you're Marcelo. You want to keep these ARC 170s around at least one more turn. Got the squiggle. This is the tractor beam one. Unlikely to move him onto the rock, but... Yeah, just going for damage here. Mm -hmm. Just a crit. And that's going to stick as well. Another crit going into the red arc. One that's a whole breach. Everything's Ooh. a crit now. You don't got to roll them, Natty. That's, that's going to be very spicy for these last two shots onto the 104th Battalion. And this is a range one. And hit crit. That's threatening two there right now. Two potential critical damage. A single double damage in there would end it for this red arc 170. Let's find out what we get. Yeah, everything's face up here. Taking two crits. It's a council, council fire. fire. And a panicked pilot. Okay, so still has the potential to die next turn, but will potentially... Should have one more, one more out of black. And then... Oh, sorry. One, one more shot. One more. Excuse me. That was only five. <laughs> there is another. Yep, this one does have three dice in the bullseye. Again, or getting three that... dice because of the bullseye. There you go, yep. We get the roll and whiffs on the attack. Yeah. No, that's oh. uh, Obi that's White's focus next to Obi Wan there. Oh, I thought that uh, was Obi Wan's. That's a dead ship. Oh man, taking three crits. Can we Blue get some F's in the chat for the Red Arc One Seventy? <laughs> Woohoo! One more crit and another hull breach, just to be sure. Man, got tore apart. Yeah, those uh, ARC 170s, we're going to have a bad day no matter what with those M3As. And we got one more shot. We still haven't shot into Anakin yet. No, this is the tractor beam. No, it's just going primary uh, for nothing here because Anakin's got a big yep. token. So. Save the piddly shot for Anakin. <laughs> right? There you go. Anakin gets three evades, so not a problem. Um, But with Obi-Wan dipping out, the arc's not having any modifiers and rolling average, of course, uh, pretty standard. Uh, the Republic has done zero damage to these M3As. Mm-hmm. That, that is lost massive. And one of their biggest guns. I expected, uh, I would have expected to maybe have or at least damage that ship in the opening engagement and then kill it in the, the follow-up round. Well, that's not the case. 
Talk to us. M3A's got the plot armor today. Now we talked about you know the the potential strategy here with whether or not Octa was going to go down at the Arc 170s or to try to corral Anakin, and it's just the strength of the fact that he's got a lot of guns and those are one agility ships. This would have mm -hmm. been very different, I think, if those M3As would have tried to turn around. Then the Arc 170s are on the flank, but. Akta correctly identifying the fact that with that one agility, he had the possibility of taking out one of these. And I think he's going to probably do it again. Just, hey, we're, let's keep guns on target. You make sure with those initiative ones that the yellow Arc 170 doesn't have an escape vector. And you take out the other five health and then it's time to chase the Jedi. Maybe he loses one aim 3A with some lucky shots this turn, but it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, I can see something like a self-block here from White into Obi-Wan. Maybe stamp a, uh, like a four-forward leave um, while you K-turn the bottoms and send in uh, pink, blue, and yellow uh, to kind of threaten Obi-Wan. I think you're just going to have to let Anakin get in behind you. Um, you're so far up, though. Um, almost half, uh, well, almost one and a half arcs gone. Mm -hmm. Um could see that arc uh, off the table next round as well with the amount of arcs it's going to be in. So, uh, with those two obstacles to the left and right of it, it's got very limited places to go. Yep. I mean, are you slapping the fork straight and hope? Yep. Or maybe, maybe it's straight. a three bank to the left? Uh, that, that seems I bad. I, I think that... Uh, I think if you self bump that white, he covers both him and Obi Wan cover both of those options. You're right. <laughs> You're, just trying, trying so hard. Leave little Arc 170. Leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what his options would be. Maybe accept it and uh, just one bank or one straight rather. Banking it towards uh, these uh, M3As who are going to have modifiers coming in. Mm -hmm. I think Anakin's. I think Anakin's got an easy dial here. Just hard three and get in that lane. Start bullseyeing things. Yeah, Anakin needs to start doing some work here. He's got the tools. He could potentially clear, you know, it in perfect conditions. Clear an M3A a turn. If he wants to, he just got to have the yeah. passion and the dice. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the rerolls don't come easy for the Ada, uh, especially with the auto blaster cannon. So, you have to rely on that force to get it done. I think Obi Wan's in the most awkward spot here. Uh, he's got the five and 5k and two talent rolls available. But I'm not sure if you'd risk that right now. He might just turn up and get with Anakin. Mm -hmm. Maybe try to bait towards the bottom of the board, catch a uh, catch one of these spacers K turning, okay, like one bank boost or something. He could also sloop if it, it depends. If that's that's yeah. a really aggressive move though. Like that is that is you feel like it is that that if you do not start attacking now that you're gonna lose the game. I don't know if he wants to be that aggressive, though. I mean, it's an expensive two dice shot that you're ris or, uh, a risky uh, maneuver just for a two dice shot. We'll see. I got faith in Marcelo here uh, that he's got some sort of plan. That boost, he had to have boosted for a reason. Mm hmm. And we Other. got the K turn. There is the hard turn for a block, Ooh, potentially. I like that. And yellow blocking on the escape route and covering Obi-Wan's um, positioning uh, if he goes back towards the top of the board. I like this. I like this. He yeah. He's... he's Dancing the ballet very nicely, making sure none of his ships are are going to be in trouble there. Not opting for the K-turn, 
with the red M3A. You're going to just bring them down and reconverge with the firing squad. And Lanbolo dropping five more subs. Thank you so much. Lanbolo. Uh, the 104 did try the 4K, and that white blocks it easily. Uh, Obi-Wan also did the 4K. All right. Not opting for this loop. A little bit more distance. And I'm not surprised Marcelo dropped the 4K. It's, just, it's, it's a hope. It's like, hey, the yeah. the K turn it, will be better if it actually lands, and I'll be without an action anyway if it doesn't and probably dead. Yeah, it looks like he's got a focus token, but that's actually white's. Mm -hmm. Um but with the K turn, he did line up the bullseye for his CLT, um, but not on the. Well, they put a second one up. Hope they don't think Obi Wan somehow got a focus token when he K turn. I'm sure Octa will be very sus of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's Anakin coming on in. He boosted to yep. get a range one. Shots going into blue, I'm assuming. It's it's the range yeah, one, four it. dice. Ro it's the auto blaster. Just roll four crits. Just do it. I mean, you could, you could roll like three and have Marks and shit pick up the last one, but sure. <laughs> Don't want to get greedy now. All right, we got All two right. hits. Yeah, that could be... So is it worth spending the force to get a hit in there? Um, when you could just double crit with marksmanship and R7. Yeah, just just take them. Don't even, don't even bother rolling. Takes two. And that is going to be underneath the shields as well. And the card is a stunned pilot for Scum and Villainy. Stunned pilot. Yeah, that should be okay. He's He's got a, a good K-turn lane. So it shouldn't be a problem. Obi-Wan, though, has got Bullseye on yellow tractor beam. Let's still have to take advantage of it. or are going to a, a white who's shooting at the 104th. And some people are questioning why not spend the force there. Well, because the hit would be blockable. Yeah, right? the, yeah, the hit they, is blockable. So on three dice is a pretty good chance to get one evade. So holding on to that force as a resource for Anakin for defense, most likely, or in the case of a, of a later offensive use. Oh, hit, hit, crit going from Obi-Wan. Yep, trying to spin the force. CLT. And that's going to be a good hit. Spends for yellow yeah see Yellow's if he's gonna taking focus fire there or go in t and try to strip one of these focuses from a ship attacking the arc here that's a tough call either way because he's, he's got to put damage out Grabbing the fourth die, gonna go range one into the white auto blaster M3A and got three hits. Can spend out to avoid the damage and does no damage. These arc 170s will will likely end up not doing any damage this whole game. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not what I would have expected. But uh, three agility and a focus mod can get you get you through some tough times. Well, we got four dice here and got three. This cartel spacer number six. That is the brown one that's right behind the arc. Three of those are going in down to two hull. And we'll see if this M3A, the white one, will be able to finish it off. Has an auto blaster. Wow. 
one hit. So going to need a couple more shots to end up finishing off the arc, no matter what's rolled here. Gets the squiggle. And here we go. Spends for hit crit. Still lives. Takes a crit, though. Just, just a crit. It is a structural damage. Oh, no. Structural Ooh. damage. We are losing our last chance to dodge. <laughs> just needs to roll a hit to end it. Yeah, paint will do. And that is the ball game for that 104th Battalion. Hit the bench. We got two Jedi versus an entire swarm that's only taken a total of three damage. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, indeed. I can't believe the hero moments those uh, NCAAs pulled off against the arcs at the bottom of the board. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the, the jousting efficiency of Okta Khan's list is really, really good. Uh, the games that we have seen him lose when he brings a, a list like this. Let's see, does, do we have any more shots this turn? I don't think so. When, when we have seen him lose when he brings these type of swarms, our lists that hit hard enough with multiple ships to clear like two M3As in the opening joust. And then at that point, it's usually it's usually not in his favor because he's starting to lose tools. Mm -hmm. um, th this list, though, is going to be really, really tough to beat um, going forward in the XTC. I mean, you, you have to have something crazy, um, something that does bonus attacks, potentially... Maybe maybe something like a um, a Bosk. Like, Will, I, I don't feel too terrible about your matchup in this one. If in the opening engagement you can do something nasty. If you could do something Oof. nasty. Uh, I yeah. think a, a double-tapping dash actually has a pretty good oh, matchup yeah. against this. But I think the problem yeah. is that people don't really play dash right now because it doesn't have no. great matchups against other things. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you either you either have to bring more and bigger guns to this fight, uh, or um, be so nimble that he'll never catch you with more than one of these ships. Um, I don't think it's I don't think this is game over for Marcelo though. No, no, he's got he's got he's, he's about a half the hour race. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's not doing great in the old damage race, but. Um, Obi Wan can be rolling four dice range one with that CLT. Uh, we're gonna start seeing um, Anakin uh, hopefully just uh, do some work here with the auto blaster. I do like I do worry about Anakin though because there is that red just lingering in behind now. Mm -hmm. A uh, nice little one bank through that asteroid field or the little gap between the big asteroids. Oh yeah, and that, uh, that's a threat, for sure. Yeah. Uh, he'll he'll be watching Anakin's approach with great interest, to <laughs> say the least. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, and if you're wondering how many M3As Marcelo needs to destroy in order to uh, get back the lead, he would need to destroy four, minimum, in order to have more than 84 points that he's lost. He's already gotten half, so he's three and a half more without losing um, any more halves of his ship. Now, of course, Obi-Wan and Anakin do have access to evade. I think the question really is going to be time. Like he has, he has 25 minutes at this point, but he still. I mean, if you if, if each turn you're clearing off two, I mean, you need about two turns, maybe four to actually get multiple shots on them. Can you get can you get four turns out of this game? He's gonna need to. He's gonna need to. F 
Four M3As. Three and a half at this point. They did have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, the easiest one to possibly take off the board is the blue M3A right in the middle of the entire scrum. Uh, Anakin is sitting right behind it. So we'll see if Marcel. And that's the other thing is like, ideally, you want to focus fire, right? It's like, this is the hurt ship. I'm going to go ahead and, and follow it. But when you're playing against so many ships, it's really easy if you get tunnel vision to get surrounded by the other ships. Like, I'm just going to use this hurt ship as bait and go from there. Uh, yeah. I fully agree. I mean, these aces are just going to have to take opportunity shots. Hunting down an M3 age because it's got one health just isn't worth it. All right, here we go. Moving to the right. Scooping up. Re ready to receive Anakin in open arms there with the brown M3 age. Just takes a focus. Blue busting a 5k swiveling that gun around with the auto blaster likely the farthest ship away from Anakin at this point and keep pointing it there is the white m3a threatening now I wouldn't be surprised if we see Marcelo turn with hard one away as well knowing that these m3a's were going to be blocking every other path but even the red m3a is getting in the way there it is yeah i mean where, how do you get out how do you get out <laughs> how do you get out now octacon uh doing a great job with white we had uh predicted a like a k turn or something from him before and he's just taking up space there um doesn't get the block in obi-wan but that actually might be for the best here Okay, has the potential to take out the yellow M3A with a good roll here. We have Auto Blaster will be three dice in the bullseye. Anakin into the yellow M3A. Looking for big money. Yeah, crit, crit hit, hit, crit, hit, hit. Uh, could just take this thing down. Ooh. We Almost don't out get the that. box. Oh. Oof. Even worse. Force and a, and a crit, or do you just hold it for... Man, you're losing this fight. You got to spend it. Yeah, he, he doesn't need to marksman. He doesn't need to use the droid. But. Yeah, just, just marksmanship there. Guarantees the crit. And it is a blinded pilot taking away that attack modifying ability from the yellow M3A. Here's Obi-Wan. What shots is looking at this health board? Brown. Oof. Pink. The damage potential on brown and pink uh, are pink and white are the same. Like essentially, pink, white, and brown have the same chances of doing damage. You have a target lock that's been sitting out on the brown M3A, so that's, that is your higher damage potential right there. Yeah, is pink an auto blaster? I mean, pink shooting three dice back at you. You might want to get that token out of there. Uh, yeah, because the CLT. Sorry, I forgot about that. I was thinking, I was thinking Delta Seven. Yep, and he's gonna go opting for the higher damage potential with CLT. Two dice plus add a focus result, and that'll be hit focus. Is he willing to spend? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. Like, <laughs> here's here's the focus. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. <laughs> All righty, and one of those are going to be going through unless we get a focus, focus expenditure, and we do. Marcelo being boxed out of doing damage this game. The M3A. What an interesting history it has had, Will, in X-Wing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's rivaling the Hawk is the the ship that's had the wildest run <laughs> of uh, 
just borderline unplayable in first edition for so long. Um, they got a uh, what was it the lightweight frame and, or something like they that? They got a lightweight frame. People still didn't really play it. It was in Ultra that that mm. made it. Um, if you guys remember, in Ultra, yeah. essentially it was uh, the cheapest Atani Mindlink carrier <laughs> you could have. Mindlink carrier. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. This was M three A flying around supporting your whole team. No mm-hmm. big deal. It's pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Pink M three A taking shot on Obi Wan. Hit crit. Spend for three. Going to be taking at least one. Yeah. Got to spend it, Obi Wan. Just a shield though. No big deal. For shield down. Yeah, losing half points in this engagement is going to really make it even more difficult for Marcelo to climb back. Losing half points on Obi Wan is going to end up losing him twenty, putting him it's twenty seven points farther into debt. Oof. All right. Looks like we're waiting for our next attack here. Oh, looks like they had some force flippy stuff. And hit, hit, crit again. Mm. The humanity. And on the Anakin Skywalker, range one. And that's going to be a damage onto Anakin. That's a direct hit, ladies and gentlemen. Direct hit. Wow. Points. (laughs) Yep. Uh, See if we can just finish him off now. He's got a single force left and one hole. Mortal Kombat, finish him. Insert theme song here. And two hits. <laughs> Octa just cannot miss. Mm-mm. Two evades. All right, there we go, Chosen One. <laughs> uh, Yeah, keeping the dream alive here, except for he's got uh, another primary. Coming in. Yep, that's an from... audible. Uh, excuse me, a tractor beam, M3A behind there, so it has to go primary, and that's going to be just one, I believe. I don't see a focus out there. No, oh, there is one, one there. Scroll out, Dion. Spend the force. We do have another match coming up at 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We have Iceland versus Peru. We'll see if uh, who will end up taking that match up. What group are they in? Iceland and um, Poland. Do you know? Oh, they're in Group A. Poland's in Group A. That's right. Germany is in Group Two. Canada and England and uh, I said Group Two. Group B. Canada and England in Group C. U.S. and Australia and Spain here in Group D. Um, the next the next well. game to answer the question is is in about an hour from right now. If they're ready early, they can jump on early. Of course, so we'll be we'll be hanging out for a little bit. Shooting the breeze, talking about the games. So Attic is asking what Marcelo could have done differently in this matchup. You know, 
again, there, there's he can't do anything about the fact that his Arc 170s have a single agility, right? Like, that's... Mm, there's no, zero <laughs> you can do. They, they take damage. Yeah, yeah. Like, that. that's going to be happening. Um... Hmm. I mean, I think he was doing good with the, uh, like, baiting in, keeping Acta spread out as much as possible. But I could, Acta just found that good lane next to uh, yeah. those rocks and was able to converge on the arcs uh, to help out with the initial forces. Uh, something I hadn't seen the possibility of uh, as well and. Yeah, Anakin's just been uh, underwhelming here uh, with that auto blaster. Yeah, but there's there's just so many ships though. Yeah, there, there's a ton of ships. You would have needed Anakin to really do some work early, or maybe what if Marcelo would have taken the Arc 170s and split them up? Because his his mm, his setup yeah. seemed seemed practice for sure, and normally course, yeah. they are really good next to each other, right? You got like right. a, this 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 beef wall coming at you. They got three attack dice each, four at range one, and when they are the lowest initiative ships, they do a great job of blocking up a bunch of space. I wonder if he would have taken the two Arc 170s, put them on opposite sides, and essentially give Octa a choice. Saying, all right, you can definitely burn one of these down, but you're only going to burn one of them down. Or, Akta ends up taking his two firing groups and not converging them together. And now Marcelo has a, ha, has essentially a one sector where he has three ships versus two and four ships versus two. But with the beef that the Arc-170 has, mm -hmm. likely ends up surviving that engagement. And maybe mm -hmm. even taking a couple N3As out, maybe finish off the three set squad and then converge whatever ship's still alive with the other ones i think that could maybe have been a different timeline that marcelo would have done against a squad like this it makes a lot of sense All right, looks like they are dinging ready here. See where the uh, where they try to converge. Gonna turn out. So Okta has done a combination of taking up space maneuvers, trying to block some of the lanes where the ships can escape mm -hmm. from, and then putting other ships there in the way, putting their arcs in in the path of that to punish if the block does end up sticking. Yeah, like, uh, like I said, Arctica is very patient um, and uh, knows how to set up these blocks. It's one thing to block a ship, but uh, not uh, to have quality shots back on the ship uh, that you blocked uh, is more important. Here's a K turn from the green M3A. Red. Just moving in. That seems like... Uh, I like that move. It's a kind of a 50-50 move. If Anakin goes to the left, you can move to the left pretty easily. Goes to the right. You can chase there as well. And slaps down the focus. Here we go. One bank to the right. Slaps down the focus. And just put, pointing those arcs in that direction. Grimwolf03 saying, Dion forgot to pay his protection feast. <laughs> <laughs> so they sabotaged his motherboard yesterday. Um, you know, shout out to you guys, though. Be because of you, I was able to go out and swap it in a day. Like, I, I went nice. to the store. I replaced my motherboard. Uh, the other one's going to be shipped off uh, for, for RMA to be repaired um, and be used for another project. But, you know, w without you guys, you know, th these those type of things, when something goes wrong, wouldn't be possible. So thank, thank everybody, part of the GSP fam, who has supported 
Um, it's because of you guys. So thank you so much. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had a stream today because the computer was dead. <laughs> By the end of the, like, I, I kept, I was like, maybe I can fix. Nope, it is dead. <laughs> Two hits. One squiggle. Yeah. Gonna spin the evade here. I can see how it would be frustrating for uh, Marcelo here, but every every shot though, um he's taking on these M3As, he's he's only taking one shot and most of the time that they have that focus token uh, ready for it. So they're expecting, you know, one to two evade results at least. Mm-hmm. Here's a yellow M3A going out there. And we have a three die shot coming at range one. Waiting for maybe the weapon selection at this point. Gonna go four for the tractor. Yellow. Oh, this is. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Excalibur Knight dumping some subs in the chat. Thank you so much. Excalibur. Excalibur. Oh, by the way, Excalibur, I remember I, I didn't shout you out during the podcast because normally I don't, I don't do the, 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 the sub shout outs during the podcast. I want to thank you for the subs you guys dropped on Monday as well. You and Lambolo. All right, dropped some crits here, a single crit. <laughs> Safe. Yep. All right, the, the Jedi is starting to dodge now. Got out of the tractor beam. Uh, got out of... Uh, the range one. Stretching for range There's three. Range. Anakin's trying to get out of here. Will he live? Another single crit. Chosen one, activate. Yes. <laughs> one evade. Oof. Clinton on that one. Uh, I think that's the last shot. The top three are looking away. Yep. All right. The Jedi's got uh, a turn to position but they are just they're so far so far down in the damage race uh and with anakin being halved here mm -hmm. is a is a losing battle uh not completely out but you gotta get these m3s to stop taking shots at you whatever that would mean this is very true now for those of you hanging out um i will tell you that uh, I have been still counting the subs since we had last weekend. We had a day two worth of giveaways that uh, that we like, didn't quite hit the goal. Yeah, okay. Will. I, I, this is a little sneak attack here. Um, <laughs> we have actually hit one of the goals. And we are, what is this, 26, 26 subs away from hitting the second one. So we're going to have two premium oh, giveaways dang. potentially at the end of this game. All right. I like to hear that. And uh, for those, those those who want to see the sub counter, we'll go ahead and place it at the top, the bottom of the screen. Shablam! There it is. And thank you to NW Vader nice. as well. Man, so Anakin, 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 what are you going to do, fam? I, I just really think it, the time is just going to work against Marcelo at this point. Yeah, I mean, Octa's not Russian. I mean, he's got seven dials to set. Mm -hmm. So, like, <laughs> he's got to take some time to do them. You it, can't it, rush it, the band. Click, click, I mean click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, they could be going, obviously, faster. Everybody could, everybody could be going faster. But he doesn't need to. <laughs> he's... This is very uh, true. He's, he's got time to set his dials. To answer Revo's question, uh, anybody can win the giveaways. Anybody at all. 
It's open to everybody. Subs is just how we get there. So if you can, great. If you can give, that's fantastic. But I'm not I th the way I look at it, Will, is like I'm not going to punish somebody and not let them get a giveaway because they not might not be able to, you know, to donate. Like we're we're here for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we understand. Uh, it's the time you spend with us that's valuable. Exactly. Oh man. We got four minutes and change left in the round. Australia going to be going away with their first win versus Team Spain going into the rest of this week. Well, of course, on uh, on Monday when we cover our podcast, we'll we'll give a little update to see how uh, how Team Australia and Team Spain did this week and then of course we'll give you guys that team usa update last week uh mm -hmm. team usa ends up getting the w six to one versus finland right it was versus finland right will you played sweden for sweden a darn it this week is finland <laughs> No, this week is hungry. Finland's what, not even in that where, where am I getting Finland from? I just love Finland. I'm a Finland fan. Go just Finland! Love, just, just a Finland fan. I yeah. don't know what could you say. Was I reading about Finland today? I don't know where. I don't, they're stuck in my brain. They, they, I got it on my mind. Maybe they're thinking about they, me they, too. You know, there's yeah, that they thing. they live in rent-free, Dion. <laughs> And there is the 5K. Had a couple of uh, purposeful bumps. Tactical bumps, what we like to call them here on GSP. Finland tied a game? Man, anybody, anybody who's got information on Group C. Wait, excuse relay me? Relay that. Yeah, Finland's got a tie right now. Let me know how that works out uh, and why that's even a thing. Who who said that I'm in sure. the chat? No, I'm looking at I'm looking at the rankings. Oh, right you're looking now. at the rankings right now, like the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Lin's just in Finland. I was gonna give you a nice update on Finland, and they're one zero one, <laughs> uh, one win, one tie, and I don't understand. Yeah, I, I think the XTC the XTC rules don't allow for. Um... Don't allow for. I don't think it's, they don't do final salvo. I don't think. All well, right. find out. This is an Anakin ability here. Reaching. Uh, being, uh, headed in range. Remember, if uh, him or Obi Wan executes a maneuver, if there's more enemy ships than friendly, you can spend a force. And if you do, that ship removes one red token. Excuse me. So not stress. Taking the evade. Luckily, that's not an auto blaster staring him down. Range one and bullseye. That's just a tractor beam. And Obi Wan ended up not going anywhere. What did he try to do? All right. P P P to people, bank. People are saying that maybe the the scoreboard is wrong. There might be a might have been a mistake in the entry. So maybe they do they do not do ties. I don't know. I'm just taking guesses here. It's the only way they would be a tie. I don't know. Data um, error or the lack only, of final salvo. I can only read the scoreboard. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right. First shots here. One hit, one eye. Oh, Lambolo just dropped a $100 donation. What? $100? Dollar, dollar bills, yo. Thank you so much, Lambolo. <laughs> Well, you know what? Regardless of the sub number, I think we do the premium giveaways. What do you think after this uh, round? I mean, uh, with that kind of support, we kind of have to, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Three squiggles on the single crit attack. Yeah, that crit was no bullseye. Mm -mm. Oh, should be not auto blasted. Interesting. 
just gonna go ahead and double check our overlay status right now make sure we got everything squared away yep we got the single crit there that was the table timer going off so last round here and then uh let's see if obi-wan can it's only got two options red or green and both are healthy willing to lay down their lives uh, to have the scum progress that's right attack for the cartel one uh, crit two eyes obi-wan you drop both force I mean, otherwise, you're just holding on to MOV here. Mm -hmm. And it's probably better for you to hold on to MOV than to score 14 points or whatever. Yep. <laughs> Stay alive. Uh, 15 points. I forget what they are halved, but yeah, 14 or 15. Plenty of evades. Here we go. Let's see if Anakin and Obi-Wan can survive the final volleys of the M3A interceptors. Yeah, I, we haven't seen a tractor beam all game, have we? Dr. Khan just throwing away 12 points in his list. Doesn't even bother. Let's see if we see it now. I would like a... He's got a tractor beam up top here. I like. I would like to see blue and uh, white shoot and then red tractor beam Obi-Wan onto the rock. That would be amazing. Marcelo jumped in, let us know that uh, Marcelo is Spain's team captain and threw himself to the wolves, or rather, to the cartel here. <laughs> well, here's the first shot. Hit crit. It's from a tractor beam and range two to Obi-Wan. And that's going to hit. Ooh, tractor time. Now, does he keep him at range one or throw him on the rock? Throw him on the rock for fun, man. For fun. <laughs> Have a little fun. Uh, he's not. He's, he's going for oh, full boo. efficiency. Boo. <laughs> 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 oh, boo. <laughs> he wants to make sure he clears him off the board here. I mean, I understand here. Four this dice, a... auto blaster. Yeah, spends you can't a focus. pull him out of the auto blaster. Fair enough. Two hits, two crits, three go through. Obi Wan becomes one with the Force. Mm hmm. Hey, Marcel, you want to jump in the voice channel to give us a Team USA update? Yeah, apparently Carson and Daniel had played today, and we had another game completed earlier as well. All righty. Two hits and a crit going into Anakin Skywalker. Oh! Uh, he gone too. He gone too! All right. The timer says zero, and the health count says zero as well. That is game. Thank you to Iso, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.